What's up guys, it's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. So this week we have, oh, Ben Azadi's back on the show. It's been, I think it's been like over a year since we've had him on. Let's see what Ben has to say. The scam the weight loss industry has ever told you. Eat less, move more. Count your calories, cut your calories. You can't lose weight because you're eating too much and not moving enough. I'm here to tell you that's a whole bunch of BS. It doesn't work. It fails 99.99% .99 of the time. And if your fitness coach or your doctor is telling you to cut your calories, to lose weight, that's like asking Warren Buffett, how do you get rich? And he says, just spend less than you earn. Um, yeah, that makes sense, but that doesn't give you the solution. The solution to truly lose so weight, focusing on your hormones, cell health, and reducing inflammation. Because the body does not lose weight to get healthy. The body gets healthy to lose weight. So tag a calorie counter right now in this video. Call them out because that does not work for many, many people. 99.99% of statistics are made up on the spot just like what he did. He actually undermines his own argument by admitting that getting wealthy is by earning more than you spend. But then saying that won't work for somebody like Warren Buffett, that's exactly what happens. Now, he has such robust earning power, he can become very wealthy, but rest assured, if you become wealthy, it's because you spend less than you earn. If you lose weight, it's because you're eating less than you expend, I can assure you. Now, where I will somewhat agree with him is Simply telling somebody to eat less and move more isn't really constructive for helping them because many of these problems are tied up in their behaviors and habits and you're better off working on habit building and behavior change than you are just telling somebody, just eat less, move more. That's not really a helpful statement. It is actually factually true, Ben. So then he said, he pulls out the, you've got to get your sailor help. Objectively define cellular health to me. If you cannot define it objectively, it's what we call a nebulous term. And nebulous terms are a favorite of people like Ben Azadi because it sounds smart, it really means nothing, and if something is nebulous, that means it can mean anything. And if it can mean anything, it means nothing. Then he talks about you can't lose fat if you don't have inflammation under control. When you decrease fat mass, you decrease adipokines, which are inflammatory factors secreted by adipose tissue. So sorry, Ben, you're putting the cart in front of the horse because what happens is as you lose fat mass, you reduce the amount of adipokines that the adipose tissue secretes and you get healthier and less inflammation because you lose weight. By the way, in human randomized control trials where people lose equivalent amounts of weight regardless of dietary strategy, they have similar improvements in inflammation. So please explain that one to me, Keto Camp Ben. And finally, him saying that calorie counting doesn't work. That's like saying keeping a budget doesn't work. Do you need to have a budget in order to save money? No, you don't need to have a budget. Does it help many people become more aware of their spending habits and behaviors so that they can change those and then be more mindful and save more money? You bet your ass it does. Just ask Dave Ramsey. He's built a whole career off teaching people how to budget, which is a very useful skill. And we have, I don't know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people just on our app alone who have lost significant amounts of weight and kept it off by tracking their calories. You don't have to track your calories if you don't want to, but saying it doesn't work is absolute buffoonery and nonsense. If you're pulling out the statistics that most people tend to regain the weight that they take off, you're absolutely right. And guess who else those statistics hold true for? People on low carb diets, Ben. So why didn't you mention that? Why don't you say low carb diets don't work 95% of the time? It's because you're just simply trying to dog on anything else that doesn't fit your narrative because you are a zealot who has bought into your own hype. I don't know if you truly believe it, you probably do, but there is no evidence to support any of the claims that you're making, and I'm hoping that you will watch this video and actually start to give a shit about legitimate science. That's it for this week, guys. 
Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next week.